Good morning. My name is Mark Cote. I am the Acting Provost and Academic Dean and will be the Master of Ceremonies for today's commencement. To start today's ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, the presentation of the colors and our national anthem, followed by a moment of reflection by Professor Sam Teal. Present. Oh. 
car. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello, graduates, families, and friends. As the marshal, I represent the faculty at today's commencement. In previous years, we would have had a lengthy procession. I would have carried the, the faculty mace as a symbol of the authority vested in the faculty. The music of pomp and circumstance would begin and the profession procession would start. President Brennan, along with the commencement speaker, the provost, the board of trustees, a United States Coast Guard officer prepared to administer the oath of office, the dean of the faculty, the commandant of midshipmen, and the NROTC commanding officer would walk to this center aisle to the speaker's platform. The faculty would come next, filling the seats to the left and the right of the center stage area. Then and only then would the graduates enter the building, your friends and family standing proud as you approached. Pictures being taken, shouts of support, smiles all around. Well, that's what I would have seen. And today it's different, but it's also the same. So wherever you now, wherever you are now, I hope you are with family and friends. Look at them and I suspect that they are smiling just as if you were in the field house at MMA. And that's what's the same. It's all about you and it's all about the people surrounding you. So here we are. And now in a more official capacity, it's my responsibility and honor to lead the graduates and families in a moment of reflection this is the time for the graduates to remember the ones who helped them along the way, helped you stay the course and keep the track. I'm asking that you take a moment to re reflect and consider those people, your families, your friends, your classmates, who shared your happiness when things were good and stood by you when things were difficult. I also invite you to remember the people in your lives who have passed away. They were and will always be loved by you. I know that you wish they were here now, but their memory is in your heart. Hold them close and cherish that memory. Now please join me in a brief moment of silent reflection. Thank you very much. Now let me close by saying that on behalf of every employee of Maine Maritime Academy from the upper campus to the lower campus, from the classrooms and the training vessels, the athletic fields and the student union, we are incredibly proud of all of you. Well done Mariners and the best in all that life puts before you. Good morning, Maine Maritime Academy, and a special congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. And a special thanks to your friends, family, faculty, and staff of Maine Maritime that got you to this day. 
I can still remember 14 April 1984, part excitement and part trepidation. The excitement was for completing four years of challenging and exciting work, and the trepidation was leaving friends and stepping out on my own. The original Whitney plan was to sail on my license as quickly as possible and get to be a chief engineer someday. The world got a vote and I ended up joining the Navy. This past September, I retired from the Navy with 35 years of service and I loved every single day. My words of wisdom to you are enjoy what you do and let your performance open doors for you. So go out there, enjoy, have fun. You've got a great leg up by going to the best maritime academy that there is. And once you do get out there, know that there are alumni, chances are wherever you go, that are more than willing to help. Thank you and best of luck. On behalf of the trustees, faculty, staff, and administration, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to Maine Maritime Academy for this, our 77th commencement ceremony. This has been a year unlike any other, and this ceremony reflects that new reality that the class of 2020 has to grapple with as they start their careers. We are here to celebrate their accomplishments and recognize their transition to a new chapter in their lives. Before we begin the formal part of the commencement ceremony, I would like to recognize several groups that are each an important contributor to today's celebration. First, thank you to George Stevens Academy's jazz combo, Melodious Thunk, conducted by Stephen Orlovsky for providing us with music. Thank you also to Catherine Cornell, the class of 2022, for her wonderful rendition of the national anthem. At an in-person commencement, I would have paused at this point and recognized several groups in the room who had supported your education while you were here on campus and would have asked you to thank them for their support. While I can't have you do that in this format, I wanted to remind you that there were groups, a number of groups and individuals who worked with you and helped contribute to your success. Our faculty who taught and mentored you while you were here MMA staff who supported your daily lives in a number of ways. And last but not least, your family and friends who have encouraged you throughout this process. Please do thank them for their support whenever you get the chance. Finally, I would like to recognize Professor Don Ely, who is retiring after 27 years of service to the Academy. At last month's Board of Trustees meeting, he was named an Emeritus Professor. Congratulations, Don. Now, there are some alumni and faculty who would like to address the class. Good morning to Maine Maritime Academy class of 2020. My name is Wayne Norton, a proud alumnus of Maine Maritime Academy class of 1986. First, I wanna say that I'm honored to have the opportunity to address you during this significant milestone in your life. When asked to present today, the guidance I received was simply to share my hopes and advice for the graduating class of 2020. As I prepared my speech, it was impossible not to reflect on the incredible challenges that you've already been through this year. Having to finish your degrees in isolation, having this virtual commencement ceremony, and now having to enter the workforce under these extraordinary circumstances. However, my thoughts for you are not ones of sympathy, but more ones of hope and opportunity. As terrible as this pandemic has been, and as saddened as we all are with the impacts of COVID-19 around the world, history has proved that amongst chaos and crisis comes opportunity. And it's clear that this pandemic has created a huge blank canvas for the world, more so than any of us have ever experienced. However, that blank canvas is yours. If you believe as I do that necessity is the mother of invention, you can't help but believe that your opportunities are potentially boundless. Before putting my thoughts on paper, I reached out to the contacts that I have at the Academy, Coach Dagan, Chris Haley, Deidre Davis, to name a few. I just wanted to get a sense of how those who knew you would describe you as a class. Interestingly, there was clear consistency in the descriptors. You are described as resilient, flexible, 
motivated, respectful, and grateful. First, those are pretty darn impressive adjectives for your faculty and administration to describe you by, and as such, you should be proud. Amazingly, when I think about resilience and flexibility, I can't help but think of those things as perfect characteristics to deal with the present challenges facing the world under this pandemic. And if you couple resilience and flexibility with your motivation, then you truly become a legitimate member of the workforce to be reckoned with. The fact that you are viewed as respectful and grateful speaks not only to your class, but it speaks to each of you individually. Those are truly honorable values and they will serve you well, no matter what you do in life. So my hopes for you, the Maine Maritime Academy class of 2020, is that you embrace the challenge that has impacted your life over the last several months, and that you recognize and capitalize on the opportunity that this horrible pandemic has created. And my advice to you, Maine Maritime Academy class of 2020, is to pay attention and to be aware of your surroundings. You see, I was fortunate to have many opportunities in what has become a fairly successful career, and I owe it in large measure to the fact that I was able to see opportunities that either nobody else around me saw or nobody else around me acted on. It's sort of like the cliche, the harder that you work, the luckier that you become. Well, I believe that the more that you live in the moment, the, the more observant that you are and the more aware you are of what's going on around you, the more opportunities you will have in your life, both personally and professionally. If you do that, as simple as it sounds, if you can be in the moment and pay attention, and if you can couple that with the motivation and the flexibility, the resilience, the respectfulness, and the gratitude that you already exhibit, you will undoubtedly have the tools for success in your career and your life. So in closing, I want to again acknowledge your amazing accomplishment against all these unprecedented challenges that you faced. I want to congratulate you and I want to and good luck. Hello there. And to the class of 2020, today we celebrate you and all the hard work that you have done to get here. You will be transitioning from student to part of the Maine Maritime Alum Association as you begin your careers going forward. We are all excited to celebrate the accomplishments and the growth and the foundation that you have built during your time here at Maine Maritime. And although the world looks very different and you did not imagine a celebration like this, we celebrate you nonetheless. You will be the future leaders that will help shape our industries and our communities and the world of tomorrow. And your departure from Maine Maritime is only a departure in the physical sense. You will live on in Maine Maritime through the friendships you've developed here, the relationships with the professors and staff, and the community that you have built when you chose Maine Maritime on that first day. I have had the opportunity and the pleasure to work with many of you of the class of 2020, and it's very special to me. Each of you is equally impressive. And even though we cannot be together to celebrate as part of the Maine Maritime community, we are here for you and we are with you. Now is the time for each of you to go out and make your mark in the world. And when you do that, I have three pieces of advice that I wish to share with you. The first is you've earned your place do not let anybody take it from you, not even yourself. Do the work it takes to be successful. And sometimes you will have to be your own self-advocate. This only works if you put the time in. Don't make excuses, show up and be present. Second, continue to learn. Your learning doesn't stop now. It's only really just beginning. You will be, you will be building on your foundation of knowledge Use it and trust it. It will be there when you need it. And third, grow, lead, and teach. In order to find success, you must master your current role. You must teach somebody behind you and spend a little extra time learning the role that you want next. 
Hard work and drive will pay off and will be rewarded in time. Patience is the key. However, you have to be ready for that next step when they make the call. And that includes holding that next license. The challenges you face today are much different than those that I faced and many of my colleagues upon our graduations. Those opportunities though will still be there for each of you. All you have to be, all you have to do is be willing to reach for them. Don't wait for them to come to you. And although we won't see each other every day in passing on campus, you will be missed. Be sure to reach out and let us know how you're doing. Your success is our success, and we are all so proud of you. Today is your day. Celebrate it. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Happy day, everyone, and greetings to the class of 2020, and a special hello to those of you I've met in the IBL classrooms these past two years. And most importantly, congratulations to the class of 2020 on this very special day. 47 years ago, I graduated from Maine Maritime and looking back, attending MMA was easily the best decision I have made, except for Maritime, a prestigious institution. You are smart, inquisitive, well-prepared, and I've seen this firsthand. And thanks to an amazing faculty and unique curriculum, teaching self-discipline, problem solving, inspiring curiosity and learning. This now enables the class of 2020 to immediately seek new horizons and succeed. You are well prepared to uphold the proud traditions and legacy of the Academy. A legacy that places the Academy among the very best colleges in America. You might ask, why is this possible? Well, it's possible because the Academy is actually a talent hotbed. Talent hotbeds are relatively tiny places of learning sprinkled around the world that produce large numbers of world-class, what I call A players, relative to their size. And it's important to know that talent hotbeds succeed by aligning their environment and learning methods with the brain's natural means of learning. And yes, the Academy does just that. Four years ago, the class of 2020 learned about getting started and about ideas and activities that ignite motivation. And you learned about creating a blueprint for skills that you want to build. You also have learned urgency, how to improve skills using methods and technologies for making the most progress in the least amount of time. And third, you learned about sustaining progress, strategies for overcoming plateaus and keeping those motivational fires lit and building habits for the long-term success. You now have the skills to be much more than the best at your job. You have the tools and the talent to be the best son or daughter, the best marriage partner, the best son or daughter-in-law, the best parent, the best friend, the best representative of the Academy, and ultimately the most ardent supporter of the Academy, further contributing to its growth and future success. Statistically, you will reinvent yourself seven times along your lifetime career path and possibly many more. And just as you have toiled and learned and now celebrate this reinvention milestone today, yes, reinvention milestone, I congratulate you. You will now go forward to reinvent yourself and I believe very successfully again and again from this day onward. You know firsthand how reinvention works. You were privy to this and you now hold keys that few possess or will ever possess. And this is the uniqueness of the Academy. That is true. All the knowledge of the world is in the palm of your hand. Literally, all the world's knowledge is on any subject or topic is in the palm of your hand. It's called a smartphone. 
There is no excuse not to reinvent. In closing, I want to leave you with this story. And those of you who know me know how I like to tell stories. It's the way we learn, it is the way we remember. Starting in 1930s, a man set off to determine what makes people successful, not just monetarily, but across all walks of life and disciplines. And for the next 40 years, he looked high and low for those common threads and reasons for success. Surely, he thought, I can distill success into a number of possibly many numbers of truths to success. By 1970, he considered his life's work to be a failure. Not a single common trait was found linking success. And in exasperation, he exclaimed, well, the only trait that successful people share with each other is they do what others do not like to do. I would like you to hold on to this. Successful people do what others do not like to do. Well, traveling the Castine Road for four years is a wonderful example of doing what others do not like to do. Look back at your four years and you will discover you have already done many things and accomplished many things others do not like to do. Congratulations, class of 2020. To continue this path, you will need to seek and find your passion. You will need to be true to your best self. Finding your best self and being true to it is not always easy, but I and many, many others have confidence you will succeed. Possibly after many attempts, but when you are being true to your best self and the fires of passion are ignited, then it becomes very, very easy to do what others do not like to do. Class of 2020, wishing you the fairest of winds and the smoothest of seas. Congratulations, well done. <clears throat> when we were last together, more than two months ago now, we all knew in our heart of hearts that the celebration of the class of 2020 may be the last time we would be together in person. But none of us were really prepared emotionally to admit that. Since that time, and the reality of our circumstance has become so painfully real, we have asked ourselves, how do we restore some normalcy to what is such an abnormal situation in the world? in our country, in our states, our community, and on our campus. There has been much discussion about the value of the commencement exercise in the face of campus closures and social distancing. Colleges and universities, high schools, and all other institutions that educate and train people to pursue a career, to take the next step in their lives, to advance their dreams, and to simply move on, have attempted to come to terms with a tradition that is not possible in a traditional sense. But these rituals have great value, especially this year, in celebrating your accomplishments and acknowledging that your careers are about to begin. To deprive graduates of the opportunity to be individually recognized is not something that we will let this virus achieve. All eyes will be upon you today as we pause for a moment to resource some sense of normalcy to your lives. So on behalf of the entire Maine Maritime Academy extended family, it is my great pleasure and honor to celebrate the class of 2020. Congratulations. You have worked hard to earn your degrees and all of us here today are proud of your accomplishments. During our celebration on the Levitt Lawn on March 18, I conjured up for you a memory of the Maine Maritime Academy commencement exercise. I also told you that you have touched my life in many different ways, and I am richer for that, and proud to have been part of your lives. You've created a memory for me too, and one which I will cherish, one of the people in the met the challenges and overcome adversity to achieve something of great value. 
I saw that success in each and every one of your faces as I looked through the Class of 2020 yearbook. And I was reminded that our most valuable role as an institution has been to help you develop as a person, to enhance your character, to bring more fully to the fore those attributes that will enable you to be successful in your lives. I am also confident that your years here have provided you with the knowledge you need to go out into the world. But please bear in mind that learning is a lifelong quest for understanding, exploration, and adventure. Knowledge is also the power to direct the course of our future, and that occurs in many ways, large and small. You don't have to be a high-ranking government official to change the world in which you live. Those of you who have been involved in student government realize that you have a voice and can impact the direction in which the academy moves. As a member of the Alumni Association, you will have a voice in how the academy positions itself for the future. As members of your communities, you will have the opportunity to affect society. And as citizens of towns, cities, states, and country, you have the opportunity to have a real impact upon our way of life. But you have to get involved. If you sit on the bench, all you will do is warm the seat. The best way to change the world is to start with the little part of the world in which you live. I told you in my presentation during the celebration of the class of 2020 in March that my greatest hope and dream for you as you prepare to take on the world is that you act and not just think and talk. People who are truly committed to making a difference get off the bench and get into the game. No commentator or critic ever changed a thing. Only those who act make a difference. Whether one's impact is great or small, whether it is advancing a positive or slowing a negative is beside the point. For one does not get into the game to make the, better, the world a better place in some abstract sense. One gets in the game to make the world a better place than it would otherwise be if you sat it out. You've heard me say this time and time again. I am proud of you. I am proud of what you have accomplished, and I have great hopes that you will continue in the Maine Maritime Academy tradition. I trust that you have become independent thinkers with the critical analytical skills that will get you far. The mariners who came before you forged a path demonstrating the strengths and abilities of our graduates. Over the past 79 years, our stature as an academic institution has risen to new heights, and we have become even more well-known throughout the nation and throughout the world for the quality of the education we provide and the hands-on, can-do characteristics of our graduates. It is now up to you to continue that heritage. And as you do so, I hope that you will honor those who came before you and lend a helping hand to those who come after you. It is part of our tradition. We are mariners forever. You are the keepers of our heritage. You have made me proud. Now go out into the world and make yourselves prouder than you are today. Make the community proud. Make us all proud of the Maine Maritime Academy. Congratulations to this very special class of 2020. It is now my privilege to introduce the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Earl Chinquette, a 1977 graduate of Maine Maritime Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, 16 dedicated people whom I am proud to work closely with on behalf of this wonderful institution, I welcome you to the 78th commencement exercises of Maine Maritime Academy. Of course, none of us could have predicted that we would be conducting this ceremony in a virtual space, but I commend all of you for having dealt with the challenges of the last few months so successfully. There's no doubt that the class of 2020 is special. 
When I graduated from Maine Maritime Academy in 1977, it was a special day because I knew how exhausted I was from all the hard work to get to graduation. But I can't imagine how difficult it has been for you to finish your academic program confronted by the challenges of COVID-19 as you have been. There is much hard work ahead of you as you pursue your careers, but I know that the Academy has prepared you well to be successful and you have demonstrated that you are up to the challenge of the future. I am proud of you and I join so many of you and your family members, friends, and all of us associated with the Maine Maritime Academy in congratulating you. Hello and congratulations to the Maine Maritime Academy Class of 2020. I am Captain Jason Smith. I'm a 1996 Maine Maritime graduate and the incoming Sector Commander for the Coast Guard Sector Houston Galveston. 24 years ago, I, like you, finished my years in Castine and passed my Coast Guard exams and my finals and I was heading off to make a difference in the world and make some money along the way. Unfortunately, this is where our commonalities end. My class, like every other 78 graduating classes of Maine Maritime Academy, had the opportunity to celebrate with classmates leading up to the graduation and to share the pomp and circumstance with family and friends and throw combination and graduation caps high in the year in recognition of completing what is likely to be the most impactful and memorable four years of your life but you won't have this opportunity, and for that, I am sorry. But whether you are or hope to head off to sail in the maritime industry or to join the military to operate a marina or run a power plant or to work in science or pursue more education, your experience throughout this pandemic has likely given you an experience like no other. The most challenging times throughout my career have prepared me for the next challenge and have made me better for it. The same can be said for the nation as a whole. Just through your lifetime, we have experienced devastating hurricanes such as Harvey and Maria, Irma, Sandy, Katrina, California wildfires, Deepwater Horizon and 9-11, just to name a few of the events that no one wanted but made us stronger. The Coast Guard's motto is Semper Paratus, Latin for always ready. These two words are words that align with any career path, especially in times like these, with unpredictable public health outbreaks, natural and man-made disasters, and global instability that's more and more common. We need an educated workforce who not only knows the information taught in the classroom, but those who can think outside of the classroom to get the job done. You, class of 2020, are battle-tested. You have demonstrated patience, perseverance, and preparedness needed to succeed. You have displayed outside the box thinking during difficult times. And you, more than me, graduating in 1996, are not only ready for tomorrow's challenges, but we need you to take on tomorrow's challenges. So while you may have had to finish your last few classes online without your classmates and taking tests at home to find unique ways to celebrate while mitigating exposure, and yes, to throw your caps alone right now. It is only a matter of time that you'll be put to the test and that you'll be part of a team that will use your ingenuity, your creativity, your adaptability, and your can-do attitude to good use. From me to you, congratulations, class of 2020. You more than the rest of us deserve the celebration, the pomp and circumstance, and the cap throws. Bravo Zulu for an extremely well done job at Maine Maritime. I sincerely hope that our paths cross in the workforce. Be safe in Semper Paratus. Hello parents, teachers, faculty, and my fellow students. I am first class midshipman Corey O'Connell, president of the class of 2020. Our senior year is ending in a way we never expected or predicted, but it can't diminish the bonds and memories we've created in our four years here. From being dropped off as freshmen at orientation or RPT to the individuals that stand before you today, you can see the growth and maturity that has occurred. Before you now is someone who's faced challenges head on and overcome them. Before you now is someone who's not afraid to get their hands dirty or to speak up in a meeting. Someone who will get the job done and do it right. The four years here have been tough, 
but with the support of our parents and teachers, we have been able to overcome them. Their support and drive for us to study every night and to accomplish what we have dreamed of is something we can only thank them for. Your support has been amazing and is recognized. And before you now is the individual that is better for it and ready to take on a full career. To my fellow classmates, I know we missed out on some fun senior activities and it's not the way we hoped it would end. But that's okay because we'll stay connected and we'll have more memories to come. We are better prepared than other college students and we know we can tackle all these challenges ahead. I just want to say that it's been a pleasure to be your president for the last four years and I look forward to what the future holds. Class of 2020, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you on behalf of Dean Davis, the residential life staff, and the regimental staff. Despite the differences in clothing and the start time to our days, as a class, you have demonstrated what it means to come together as a Maine Maritime Academy Mariner. There can be no doubt that this has been an extraordinary year with challenges we could not have imagined. But your resilience and support of each other enable not only the success of your class, but those classes coming behind you. And now, what the regimental class of 2020 has been waiting to hear. Attention to orders. By the authority delegated to me by the President of Maine Maritime Academy, Dr. William Brennan, I hereby declare that your regimental requirements are complete. You are hereby relieved. The class of 2021 has the watch. Congratulations and carry on. It is now my pleasure to introduce Captain Brian Lefevre, Coast Guard Captain of the Port for Northern New England, who will administer the oath. President Brennan, distinguished guests, members of the class of 2020, parents of the class of 2020, family and friends, thank you for allowing me to participate in today's program. The Merchant Mariner Oath traces its roots to an 1840 Act of Congress. That legislation was passed to correct an alarming trend of marine casualties by implementing rigorous licensing standards. Through dedication, perseverance, and technical competence, the Merchant Mariner licensed candidates of the class of 2020 have met these rigorous standards. The oath these students are about to take, the same oath taken by countless Merchant Mariners throughout history, sets them apart. It sets them apart from everyday citizens because it represents a solemn commitment to their chosen profession, a commitment that includes peacetime work vital to our nation's commerce and wartime support to our military services. Administration of the oath marks both an ending and a beginning. You are ending four years of preparation and beginning a unique journey that will challenge you personally and demand that you continually hone the skills you've acquired here. Your predecessors have met and overcome those challenges and I'm confident that you will do the same. Will those taking the Merchant Mariner's Oath please stand I will read the oath in its entirety and then ask, do you swear or affirm? That's your cue to swear or affirm by saying, I do. Now, from wherever you may be, keep in mind that we want this to be loud enough for people at sea in the Gulf of Maine to hear it. I will now read the oath and then ask, do you swear or affirm? Please raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully and honestly according to my best skill and judgment, and without concealment or reservation, perform all the duties required of me by the laws of the United States. I will faithfully and honestly carry out the lawful orders of my superior officers aboard a vessel. Do you swear or affirm? To all Merchant Marine officers and graduates of the class of 2020, congratulations. Best of luck to each of you May you always have fair winds and following seas. I want to start by congratulating the class of 2020, Maine Maritime Academy. I am a graduate of Maine Maritime Academy 1986, uh, DEC, uh, 
and I want to welcome you all to the alumni of Maine Maritime Academy. It's a group of people that are known for their hard work, their humility, and their positive attitude. And I am confident that you will continue that tradition. Uh, I know how these graduation commencements can be, at least traditionally, and I thought maybe a sea story might be appropriate. So I'm gonna take you back to 1989 when I was a newly promoted second mate on board a MSC oiler, the John Lenthal. The ship was in Messina, Sicily, and we were preparing to get underway after a voyage repair period of about two weeks. Uh, I was testing equipment prior to getting underway, and one of the seamen was on the bridge wing preparing the bridge wing. A uh, nice fella, he was a great big guy uh, named Caballero, and he always had my back. So I'm testing gear, and I put the sound-powered phone to my ear, as you do, and crank the sound-powered phone, and something crawled out of that cup that's on the sound-powered phone into my ear. I freaked out. I started screaming in a high octave that's usually reserved for small children, and I was jumping up and down in the wheelhouse. A cab saw what I was doing and ran in to say, Mate, what's going on? I said, Cab? <laughs> that was about how it was. Something's in my ear, and I'm freaking out. Well, Cab said, Let me look. So he took my head in his hands and he looked down and he goes, I don't see anything. At this point, I continued my high octave screaming. And he said, and I was telling him he needed to get a doctor, he needed to get forceps, he needed to get something to get this thing out of my ear. He said, let me look again. So he took my head again in his hands and he looked closer. And this time, he screamed in a very high octave voice saying, Woo! it's coming out. A small moth had gotten into my ear and it crawled out and landed on the deck. Well, our screams turned into laughter and we had a good laugh about it. Uh, you can be assured anytime I picked up a sound powered phone after that, uh, I checked inside that little cup. I want to just say to you again, congratulations for your achievement. You've been given a fantastic uh, background a, a, uh, to prepare you for the working uh, world. Uh, what you do with that is up to you. Uh, I'm sure you will carry on our tradition and no matter which direction you go, whether it's sea going on board Comfort or if it's uh, shoreside, uh, that tradition is important uh, to all of us and I, I wish you the best. I want you to remember also there will be times when you make mistakes and we being proud mariners uh, kind of take that too much to heart sometimes. So what I tell the young mates and young engineers on Comfort is, when you screw up, own it, learn from it, and move on. Because you're not as bad as you think you are at that particular moment. Uh, also, when you do something really well, and you're praised for it, uh, learn from it, own it, and then move on. Because I guarantee you're not as good as you think you are at that particular moment. To the class of 2020, congratulations. Stay safe, look after your shipmates, and be safe. Good afternoon and welcome to the Maine Maritime Academy virtual graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. I'm Assistant Professor Jeffrey Bowl and currently on duty in the emergency department, but I'd like to take a few minutes to extend a warm welcome to all the graduates, family, and friends, and offer a few words to the graduating class. For you graduates, first, congratulations. It's a milestone that you have achieved and now what must seem like very short years ago, you've come to this place, one where you transitioned from Maine Maritime student to Maine Maritime Academy alumni, and that's huge. Your next adventure awaits you, and that's the exciting part in all this. Finally, you have to change your, <clears throat> your step. You have your chance to step up into the world and show who you are and what you're made of to meet new challenges you face and succeed. You'll find that the Academy's reputation precedes you, and you will be expected to live up to and earn that reputation that your predecessors have established in this industry. And I have every confidence in you that you will. The fact that you're here today and successful in the beginning steps of your careers is proof of that. In all that seems unsure in this time of the COVID pandemic, be sure of yourselves. Have the confidence that becomes you and the learning that has come from your school. Have faith, 
You can do this, and in fact, you will. If you recall during your ring ceremony, I read to you, Oh, the Places You'll Go by Theodore Geisel, more commonly known as Dr. Seuss. And those words are as true today as they were when I read them to you then. One other lesson that this has taught us all, we all need to be kind. We don't know what other people are facing and in the face of uncertainty and fear, being kind will demonstrate the strength of character that befits a Maine Maritime Academy alumni. And as of today, that's you. In closing, from this sailor to your class, may the road rise to meet you, may the wind be true, may you extend what kindness you are able and be true to yourselves. Fair winds and following seas. Much love to you all. Hello, my name is Rachel Bunker and it is with great honor that I'm able to address my classmates and those watching this commencement ceremony. In 2016, we all took a leap of faith. Some of us were leaving home for the first time while others were making career changes. But regardless of where we were coming from, we all had one thing in common. We would call Maine Maritime Academy home for the next four years. On August 28, 2016, we took a literal leap from the deck of the training ship State of Maine, which we are not the same people who arrived on campus our freshman year. Through trial and error, we learned how to become the best students, classmates, and friends that we could be. Some of us stressed about receiving the highest grade possible, while others followed the C's get degrees route, but look where we are now, all receiving the same piece of paper. During our college career, we have experienced both individual and group accomplishments. Independent students looked on proudly as our classmates survived Mug Month and became members of the regiment. Several months later, we watched them sail away on the state of Maine while we eagerly waited to hear about their adventures on cruise. We have watched our peers win team championships and earn individual honors. Before our very eyes, we became the leaders and examples we once looked up to. We are more resilient, steadfast, and knowledgeable than we realize. I'd like to end by thanking my family, friends, classmates, and the Maine Maritime Academy faculty and staff for an incredible four years. Without you all, I would not be where I am today. And to the class of 2020, take pride in how far you've come. Not everyone can say that they are Maine Maritime Academy alumni, but now we can. Thank you. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree please rise? President Brennan, in the presence of the faculty, I present to you the candidates for the Master of Science degree. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Science with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Susan Loomis, the Dean of Faculty, will now call the names of those graduates receiving the Master of Science degree. Janessa Lynn Abels. Jennifer Lee Burton. Michaela Lynn Charters. Brian Coxon. Robert Morgan Greenleaf. Nicholas H. Puccello. Alan Thomas Snap. Benjamin L. Vanderleg. Christina Willey. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. It might be a scary thought to think that now the real work begins because you're casting off your college life of imposed structure and routine and sailing into a new adventure of unknowns and obstacles. And if this year has taught you nothing else, there will be obstacles. But don't fret, embrace your fears with courage and integrity because you're joining a network of people who are willing to lend a hand. Welcome to alumni status, fair winds and following seas to the Corona class of 2020. Good morning, my name is Joe Cody, class of 1982 and president of Maine Maritime Academy Alumni Association. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You have studied through and lived through unprecedented times. 
As a class, will have different memories of your senior year and graduation, one that others before you have not experienced and hopefully others to follow will not. I want to welcome you as alumni of Maine Maritime Academy, encourage you to follow your heart and dreams as you pursue happiness and successful lives and careers. Please reach out to the Alumni Association. We'd love to hear from you. I wish you all the very best of luck. Remember, we are Mariners, Mariners forever. Will the candidates for the Associate of Science degree please rise? President Brennan, in the presence of the faculty, I present to you the candidates for the Associate of Science degree. By the th authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Associate of Science with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. We will now call the names of those graduates receiving the Associate of Science degree. Robert W. Appleton Jr. Jacob J. Bernier. Derek A. Bozeman. Thomas K. Callahan. Bernie Clifford Klaus. Brittany Denise Coleman. Kendall Christopher Delaire, Jordan Robert Dupuy, Derek Scott Erb, Edward A. Kinsman, John Marlin Naziski IV, Duncan A. Lane, Ali E. Lauren. Derek Robert Lufkin. Megan Carol Lindica. Azari Lee McGuire. Thomas Connor McGrath. Glenn J. Michaud. Timothy. T. Morrill, Jr. William W. Morris. Corey Charles Nichols. Todd Joseph Nichols. Alice Angeline Pepin. John Matthew Perkins. Randall Adiyapan Punaturn. Andrew Michael Roberts. Samuel Sewell. Luke Alcott Toothaker. Justin Timothy Termelli. James Philip Wallace. Alexander Charles Weber. Michelle Florette Wilson. Hi class of 2020. I just wanted to congratulate you all on wrapping up your senior year and to wish you all the best of luck in your future careers. Hello Maine Maritime class of 2020 and welcome to my office. My name is Coronado Hickman and I am a graduate from the class of 2016 Marine Crowley Maritime. I wanted to come on here today and wish you guys a huge congratulations. I know four years ago you probably didn't envision ending your career this way at MMA, but I also wanted to say that just because you didn't get to walk across that stage today doesn't mean that your accomplishments and achievements are any less meaningful and you should be so proud of yourself. I wanted to leave you with three words of advice, confidence, resiliency, and humbleness. Have the confidence to know that you did learn a huge skill set and knowledge in the past four years at MMA. 
have the resiliency to show up every day to the best of your ability and have the humbleness to know that you won't know everything, especially at the start. And it's okay to ask questions. I hope to see you all one day, either out on the waterway, an alumni event, or even back in the great town of Castine. Congratulations again, Mariners. Fair winds and following seas to the class of 2020. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree please rise? President Brennan, in the presence of the faculty, I present to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Please be seated. We will read your names in a few minutes. It is customary to present the first Bachelor of Science diploma to our valedictorian. This year, for the first time, the class of 2020 has co-valedictorians. There is a tie-breaking process specified to choose a valedictorian in the event of a tied grade point average. But these two individuals were still tied at the end of that evaluation process. I'm pleased to announce that this year's co-valedictorians are Autumn Accord and Rachel Elaine Bunker. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding students. We will now call the names of those graduates receiving the Bachelor of Science degree. Sydney Kathleen Adams, Magna Cum Laude Shield Scholar. Cameron Ross Allaire. Kelsey Leah Anair. Logan C. Anair, Cum Laude. Evan McCormick Bacchus. Christopher M. Baker, Cum Laude. Samuel Everett Baker. Spencer Barron, Summa Cum Laude. Madison Grace Barry. Andrew A. Beals. Joel J. Bennett, Cum Laude. Tristan R. Bennett, Cum Laude. Joshua D. Blaine, Cum Laude. Noah William Blake, Cum Laude. Thaddeus Bliss, Magna Cum Laude. Garrett J. Baldock. Dustin Rio Boren, Magna Cum Laude. Rachel Lynn Barisco, Summa Cum Laude, Shield Scholar. Jacob L. Bouchard, Magna Cum Laude. Trenton Joseph Bouchard. Zachary J. Bouchard. Cameron James Bork, Magna Cum Laude. Trevor J. Bowler. Zachary Michael Brannan. Eric W. Brocken. Andrew S. Buskowski. Justin Boyd Burgess, cum laude. Ryan Everett Burke, cum laude. Andrew Joseph Burns, 
cum laude. Carrie R. Burns, cum laude. Jacob Richard Bouzier. Hannah E. Bullard. Alexa J. Kakesi, cum laude, she a scholar. Ethan Robert Callier. Connor Johnson Callahan. Wyatt M. Card, magna cum laude. Michael A. Carnavali, cum laude. Matthew T. Karen. Adam J. Casillas. Lila Page Cha, magna cum laude. Adil Abdal Chowdhury. Derek E. Clark, cum laude. Harrison Clark. Kyle F. Clark. Tess Marie Clark. Edmund E. Clark, cum laude. Cole R. Cleveland, cum laude. Maxwell Robert Cobb. Andrew Hunter Mansfield Coleman. Christopher Allen Coleman. Alec J. Coleman Prey. Jordan E. Connolly. Abigail Lynn Cooper, summa cum laude. Nicholas Mark Cote. Joshua J. B. Krause. Trevor Donald Crute. John Edward Finnegan Curry. Nathaniel Cust. Drew J. Sear, cum laude. Nerissa May Sear. Wade A. Daigle. Susanna Joy DeFranc. Edward John Dennis III. Nicholas Anthony DePatsy, magna cum laude. Kyle Jane DeMaris. Rian June Dion, magna cum laude. Ricky A. Doan, Jr. Aaron R. Dwaran. Shea Daniel Donnelly, magna cum laude. Holden R. Dudley. Thomas Edward Dugan, magna cum laude. Robert Paul Dumas III. Cody W. Eaton. Ashley T. Elder, summa cum laude. Cordell Alfred Ellis, summa cum laude. Peter Wellington Emery. Devon Michael Falia, summa cum laude. Alicia Shea Fuckingham. Tristan James Feener. Patrick Thomas Finn. Braden James Fitmorris, summa cum laude. Liam P. Flannery, magna cum laude. 
Zachary K. Foss, cum laude. Nia Fox. Jeffrey D. Franz. Jared James Fullerton. Quana Galings Harrod, summa cum laude. Clinton James Garrett. Elijah S. Gass. Hunter J. Giacomuzzi, magna cum laude. Kristen Nicole Gear. Corey King Gillespie. Edward John Gilmore, Jr. Mahan J. Glidden. Timothy Daniel Glover. Tyler J. Glynn. Dylan David Gooch. Sean Patrick Grace. Nathan Henry Granholm. Ryan Lawrence Hallett, magna cum laude. Tyla M. Hardwick. Matthew A. Haskell. Benjamin Philip Hatch. Noah B. Hayes. Charlie Heidkamp. Chase Allen Heikinen, magna cum laude. Jacob John Hammerline, cum laude. Leo Heplig, magna cum laude. Connor Jackson Hines. Joel Drew Hodgins, magna cum laude. Ryan Daniel Holgate. Jacob Houghton. Jeffrey Kenneth Hoon, magna cum laude. Dylan Lee Humes. Donald M. Hustis, summa cum laude, Shale Scholar. Sally Ann Jamuz, magna cum laude. Robert C. Jewell III, magna cum laude, Shale Scholar. Carter Kenneth Jordan. Caitlin M. Kane, summa cum laude. Gavin Ellis Kainhofer. Andrew Michael King. Chaka William Kingry. Jeffrey Chandler Knight. Stephen J. Cox. Griffin R. Kreismir, magna cum laude. Scott Egan Kulikowski, summa cum laude. Abigail M. Labby, summa cum laude, Shield Scholar. Alexander Ray Larrabee. Robin Sue Larrabee. Jacob Jonathan Lassen, magna cum laude. James Patrick Michael Laser. James A. 
Lavalli Jr., magna cum laude. Connor P. Lehigh. Alexander C. Leva. Kyle Richard LeMay. Reese Atkin Leonard. Nikia M. Levesque, cum laude. James Alexander Levine. Jeffrey D. Lewis, cum laude. Andrew John Liebert, Jr. Jessica Marie Lindsay, summa cum laude. Daniel Lysot. Charles M. Loeffler, cum laude. Zachary Bailey Look. Riley McLeod, summa cum laude. Maggie Jane McMahon, cum laude. Michael David Mahan. Christopher Ryan Mank. Dustin Manzo. Joseph Wade Mariner. Keenan L. Martin. Mary F. Martin. James M. McCallion. Matthew Scott McCarty, cum laude. Michael Harris McGee, magna cum laude, Shield Scholar. Eric Conley McGuire. Cannon Grant McLean. Rory Patrick McMahon, summa cum laude. Christopher M. McDamara. Emily Jane Mellick, magna cum laude. Connor Francis Mersch, magna cum laude. Anthony P. Michaud. Connery Hamlin Moore. Dalton Chase Moore. Harry Parker Morrison. Adam Yusuf Musin. Merlin J. Murphy, magna cum laude. Daniel J. Neal. Alexander James Dickens Neal. Hans Page Northrup. Corey Everett O'Connell, magna cum laude. Melinda A. Ogden, magna cum laude. Alexander James Olivier. Dana Matthew Willette, cum laude. Nicholas John Pappas, magna cum laude. Samuel J. Paquette, cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Paradis, magna cum laude. Bethany Mackenzie Paré, magna cum laude. Logan G. Peacock, magna cum laude. Nathan Richard Pelletier. 
Joshua S. Perrin, cum laude. Robert McGuire Fife, cum laude. Hannah K. Philippon, cum laude. Matthew Scott Plant, summa cum laude, Shield Scholar. Andrew William Jean Plata, cum laude. William Leitner Landis, Platt. Corinne E. Portress. Matthew Proya. David C. Ramaj. Madison Joan Reckman. Hunter Matthew Reed. Joshua D. Reed. Joshua G. Reed. Joshua Wesley Reeks. Eric Scott Richter. Tyler Michael Ripley, magna cum laude. Keegan Wayne Quinn Robinson. Samuel David Sargent, magna cum laude. Madison Savory. Hannah E. Scott. Hunter Greer Sechrist, cum laude. Caden Scott Johnson Shea. Mary O'Day Shea, cum laude, student trustee. Noah R. Sibley. Caitlin M. Shute, cum laude. Elliot M. J. Sibley, magna cum laude. Elan B. Silva. Cameron C. Skillings. Jacob D. Skinsakos. Bailey Neal Small, magna cum laude. Chloe Hanley Smedley. Caitlin A. Smith. Kevin Raymond Smith. Spencer Lawrence Snow. Trent Noah Zubitsky. Jeremy Christian Spiegel, magna cum laude. Adam James Sproul. Kyle Jeffrey Strang. Clayton J. Sweat, magna cum laude. Jordan Timothy Talbot. Wyatt R. Tanner, cum laude. Emma M. Tedford. Nicholas James Terwilliger. John R. Thacker. Dylan Richard Thibodeau. Jace Edward Fulbjonson. Bradford L. Tibbets. Aaron Ralph Toussaint. 
Jacob T. Toll, cum laude. Ave Lauren Trena, magna cum laude. James Ronald Trentham, magna cum laude, Sheil Scholar. Joshua S. Verrill. Justin Ryan Veen. Justin R. Waiskin, magna cum laude. Andrew R. Waltz. Caleb Matthias Watkins. Liam John Patrick Welch. Chance Lee Rollins Whittemore. Walter Rule Wilgus. Graham Rigby Williams. Jeremy T. Williams. Nicholas A. Huerta. Adam James Witham. Jacob R. Wolf, magna cum laude. Paul Stanley Woodworth, cum laude. Nicholas T. York. Tyler D. Young, summa cum laude. Ryan G. Zanter, magna cum laude. And Joseph B. Zook. Now here's a toast to the class of 2020. Here's to the past and the days that have fled. Here's to the years that are lying ahead. But better by far, if the truth we confess, here is to now, which is all we possess. Congratulations, and go and do good things. Thank you. Congratulations. Class of 2020, four years ago, you joined me for a jump from the ship. Today, I'd like to join you in our hat toss. So please stand and give three cheers, and at the end, we'll toss our hats. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2020, we wish you fair winds and following seas. Congratulations. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you.